Hello and welcome back to Minecraft and survival. In this episode, we are doing something very, very dangerous. Today's objective is to get obsidian. And there's only one place in this world where you can get obsidian. And that is the island where the Ender Dragon lives. No, we are not going to be killing the Ender Dragon today, but we will be doing some scouting. We need some obsidian in order to make the infusion pedestal. But before we get to all of that, I have some updates and some announcements to make. So firstly, the mod pack has been updated. Better End has updated as well. So if you're interested to get the mod pack that I use, you can download it from my website or from my GitHub page. Links are down below in the description. Just remember to back up your world before you update. As I said, Better End has updated, but either way, it's always a good idea to back up your world. Secondly, I have also updated the data pack that gives us a few custom recipes. The leather stripe and the Eternium and Lapis Lazuli normally would for us would not be obtainable, but I have done some tweaks to the crafting recipes. I added this data pack a while ago, but I've tweaked the recipes now. So the leather stripe is the same, but the Lapis Lazuli and Eternium is different. So before to get the Lapis and the Eternium, two ingredients would need to be added in the stone smelt, in the end stone smelter, and we could get it. But I've tweaked the recipes to actually require the infusion pedestal. So for Lapis Lazuli, for example, as you can see the recipe is now gone. In the infusion pedestal, we would need to combine four Aurora Crystal Shards together with raw amber. Secondly, for the Eternium, normally the recipe is combining, I believe, Terminite with Netherite. But of course, we can't get Netherite because we're in the end and are not allowed to leave. So, in the infusion pedestal, I have replaced the Netherite with Eternal Crystal. I should say, normally it's not an infusion uh, recipe, I've made it that way just to make it more interesting. So it is a terminated git with eternal crystal together with an amber gem, which is four raw amber, four aurora crystal shards and two iron ingots, which by the way, we could only get from in city. So that is not something that we have a huge amount of either. So those are the changes. That's all the boring stuff out of the way. Now let's talk dangers because we need to get from here, building site, I need to change that. If we zoom out here, I need to go all the way up here, all the way up here, yep, all the way up, and then to the left. As you can see, this is the end island right here, and these obsidian pillars is what will be able to give us obsidian. So, what we need to do is we need to go over here, and then I need to travel about a thousand blocks all the way over here, steal some obsidian, and hopefully get out with my life intact. We could lose a lot from this. If we die, we lose the uh, elytra. I lose everything on me. Um, and yeah, things could go bad. And I cannot make a respawn obelisk just yet either, because that requires amber blocks and eternal crystals. And in order to make eternal crystals, guess what? We need an infusion pedestal. So I really need this infusion pedestal in order to move on because I need a silk touch pickaxe, for example, in order to get a steady supply of food. And also, so I can start growing other trees. I have a sapling over there. I don't know if it has grown actually. Oh, it has grown. The sapling has grown. I did some testing as well, by the way, in a creative world. And you only need the one sapling. You don't need to place them in a two by two. That's awesome. Okay, I am going to first off chop down this tree because I need more wood. And this is the sapling that I planted. Um, so that's really good. That is really good. But I do want to be able to plant other trees as well. But that requires that I am able to get the type of soil. So I really, really do need a Silk Touch pickaxe in order to properly progress. And of course I need the infusion table in general so I can progress th with the things that need the infusion table. That's kind of self-explanatory. But I'm now gonna chop down this tree as well as I can. There's a lot of different branches which I'm, which I'm not a huge fan of. I might even be in the other tree right now. But I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna chop down this tree. And then just before we leave, I actually want to set up a proper sulfur farm. So that is ready to go. Because in the last episode, we discovered that we can actually farm sulfur. So I want to utilize that and set up a proper farm for it before we leave. But anyways, I'm gonna keep chopping here and I'll be right back. Um, my axe broke. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of wood, but my axe broke on me. Not cool. By the way, I actually discovered something. While I was changing my recipes for the data pack, I discovered 
a specific type of armor, the crystallite chest plate. If we go into chest plate right here, you can see that we have the normal vanilla stuff, obviously. Then we have the thalassium chest plate. Then we have the terminite chest plate, which is not as good as diamond. And then we have netherite, obviously, and then atinium, which is better than the diamond. But we also have this crystallite chest plate, which is kind of the same when it comes to the diamond armor. But if you notice, it says effect dick speed one. And if we look it up, we have five pieces of crystallite armor here. The helmet, which gives you plus one blindness resistance. The chest plate, dig speed one. The leggings, plus four max health. So I believe that is two extra hearts. And the boots give you swiftness one. And then the crystallite elytra gives you armor. That's kind of cool. So that's something I want as well. But in order to get that, guess what? Yeah, we, we need the infusion pedestal. Not only, not only to make this but also to make the things that are needed for the thing we want to make. So <laughs> this is why we need this obsidian. Plus it's going to be good to go ahead and be able to scout ahead a bit for when we actually do want to take on this dragon. But anyways, I'm going to keep chopping this tree down now. All right, almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Just the roots now. So after chopping down this tree, it takes about almost a whole axe in order to chop down the whole thing. What I'm gonna, gonna do? I'm gonna plant another sapling so I can do it all over again. Maybe in the next episode. <laughs> I need to organize my chest a little bit more as well. I'm not really happy with it, but now we have a whole lot more wood than we had before, and that's good. I'm also gonna take these leftover saplings because I don't need that many in my chest, and I'm gonna use them for my composter to hopefully get more bone meal. Which is exactly what I want and need. Unfortunately, yeah, that's all. That's pretty much all we got. It takes a lot in order to make this gunpowder. So the fireworks we use needs to be spent very wisely. But with that tree chopped down, my attention now goes to the sulfur. Because, like I said, in the last episode... Ow. In the last episode, we discovered we could actually farm it. So I want to do just that. Like, look at that. That's awesome right there. So I want to basically move this stuff into a more orderly fashion. I just don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I do know that we now have a whole lot more wood. So I'm going to utilize that. I'm thinking it's going to be the easiest to have the sulfur grow on the side because I can easily tell what is fully grown by that little pixel right there. When that peeks out of the water or that when that pokes out of the water, that is when I know it is fully grown. So I definitely want this close to the surface. So I don't know. I'm going to see what I can do. We might even grab more of this prime stone when we head over in that direction. But anyways, let's jump into a time lapse. I got to do some terraforming and I got to place some stuff down. So yeah, there's a little bit of work to do. Let's do it. All right, the sulfur farm, I would say, is now, well, for now anyway, complete. I am missing some brimstone and I really want to continue this at least a lot more further down because I want to be able to get a lot more sulfur, but it might actually be enough. We'll see. It's already starting to, to grow, which is really cool. And I actually kind of, I was struggling with the design at first. I just winged it and yeah, I, I think it looks okay. I think it looks okay, and then I added the staircase, of course, here on the side, so we can actually easier get down, and I think if we further develop the... Ow. If we further eh, develop this staircase, maybe, and maybe put this, maybe go all the way around and connect with the other farms. Like I said in the last episode, I have new design ideas for the farm over here instead of that. So, yeah, I think this area can actually start looking really, really well. And I think just from harvesting the sulfur that was there beforehand from the last uh, brimstone that we had placed, I think I actually got like 17 or something. So that's actually not bad. So maybe it doesn't need to be as big as I thought. 
Speaking of which, we need to make some more firework rockets because we have a mission to do. So I need to take paper, all this bone meal, three charcoal, three sulfur, and I need to combine that in a crafting area, get three gunpowder, combine those three gunpowder with some more paper. And now we have 11 fireworks in total, which is not, I, I don't think that's enough. It might be, but if we need to look around a little bit as well, yeah, I don't think that's going to be enough. I could take some of these shadow berry seeds because I probably don't need this many, but I really don't want to use them. At this point in time, because we need the bone meal, I'm going to say eight max of each like kind of seed and whatnot, because we can always get more and I don't think I'm going to need that much. If it's something I'm starting to farm, then I will be able to get more seeds later on. Oh, I can't use all of these seeds apparently in here. And that's already done. Right. I could go ahead and use a shear and start shearing like the flowers and whatnot, but they don't really give that much. But I guess I could clear the, out this area because I will be needing to build here very soon. All right, my shears broke, but this is a great test. So we have like almost, yeah, I'd say pretty much a stack of, well, flowers and whatnot. So let's see how far this will actually get us. I don't think it's going to get us very far. So let's take a look, shall we? We're currently on level 4, that's level 5, that's level 6, I assume we're gonna get a level 7, nope, all of that and we didn't even get half of a composter full. <laughs> oh dear, well not only do we need to make this journey, we also need to make this journey which Probably it's like maybe one firework rocket if shot well. Um, this could be maybe five or four, depending on how well we do it. Uh, it's going to be close. Anyways, let's see our inventory here. We don't have a whole lot of food. Uh. <laughs> oh dear. One cooked end fish and nine mushrooms. Okay. Right. This is why I need the silk touch, so I can start growing those shadow berries on the roof. Now that I look at this house, I might actually redesign the whole house in another episode, because I don't, I don't think it looks too good from the outside. I think maybe sticking to this, to the wood that is in this biome might be the best. Or maybe this wood? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I actually think I'll be as ready as I'll ever be, because I need diamond pickaxe to get the obsidian, which I have. I have my elytra. Over there, I have my 11 fireworks. I mean, worst scenario is we get there, we'll be able to get back, and then I'll just have to walk all the way back. That's the worst case scenario. Not the best, but uh, could be worse. This has unbreaking and mending. I need to make an XP farm as well. I think that might be one of our next objectives. Anyway, I think we're ready to go. Um, now, again, my objective is not to fight the Ender Dragon. We're gonna wait with that. This is just a scouting mission and for us to be able to get some obsidian. I'm not gonna fight the dragon today. Well, uh, here goes, I guess. <laughs> not much else for me to do. So, yeah, I'm just gonna have to use each firework rocket extremely carefully so try and glide as much as i can and use the i guess velocity is that right use the speed and wind i get to yeah be able to pull this off okay so far we're kind of halfway there so that's not too bad all right gonna do something a little bit risky gonna fly through the trees and the nose up. There we go. I think we're two thirds of the way there. Yep, two thirds of the way there so currently. Okay, so far we have used. Whoa! Hello! Well, that's a great welcome. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that's not a good start. Alright, so two firework rockets basically got us this far right here. I'm going to manually walk the rest of the way over here. And then maybe use one or two firework rockets. I think we will have enough. I think we'll have enough. While I'm traveling to my destination, I think this is a great time to say if you're enjoying the video, then please be sure to leave a like as it does help me out a lot. And also if you're new or just haven't subscribed yet, feel free to subscribe. It does help me out a ton. 
and yeah enable those notifications as well so you'll get notified when I upload. You can also if you're interested and want to support me even further I do have a Patreon page link down below in the description if you want to support me that way. But with that said I think we are at where we need to be. I recognize this from the map. Yep. I would like to maybe be able to fly a little bit around the island, but again, I don't want to fight the dragon and I don't want to die either. So yeah, this could get interesting. Also one thing that I will need to do is I will need to have this screen open because if I get near Y level zero, that's gonna be very bad for me. So, <laughs> okay, here we go. I do not like this. C should stay near the 25 slash 20 area. We are pretty high up though. Y level 100. Going down to 80, 70, 60. C coordinate is going a little bit off. So we need to adjust back to the 20, 25 mark right there. I'm flying pretty much blind here. All I got is <laughs> the coordinates to work with. But so far one rocket has gotten us this far. Back up again. And there it is. There's the end island, guys. Or the the main island. Oh boy. There is the dragon. And here are <laughs> the obsidian pillars. I'm gonna fly around a little bit. Maybe look around the area, see what we got. Actually, I'm gonna settle down right here. Doesn't look like we have a whole lot of stuff here. Um, but... Except that's different. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get some obsidian. I don't know if I'll need obsidian for anything else. But I'm gonna get maybe like 10 pieces. I think that's gonna be enough. I guess I should have checked this out if obsidian has another another use. Uh, let's do that real quick. I mean, ender chest, enchantment table, beacon. Yeah, enchantment table, that's a good point. Glass protection. Okay, I don't need that much. I think I've got to go for 10. Oh, being shot at. Not ideal. Oh no. Okay. The breath is kind of hurting me, so i got to stay out of that. Don't have my armor on either. Give me that. Ooh boy. Three and a half hearts. Okay. Um, I need to go home now, which is... <laughs> In this direction, I need to get out of here because this place is not good for me. Bye, dragon. Whew. Okay, that was a little bit dangerous. Guys, a mission complete. We got the obsidian and we got to see the end island. Nothing really special over there, except for maybe the middle. The middle looked a little bit strange. We will come back, though. We will come back to defeat the Ender Dragon in due time. But we have now officially made it back to land with 10 obsidian. Um, hopefully that's gonna be enough. I mean, four for an enchantment table, two for the infusion, infu bleh, infuser, infu hold on. Infusion pedestal, there we go. So yeah, not too bad. Now I just gotta get back home safely. Look at that, we explored the whole island pretty much. And yeah, the middle looks very different to what it usually does. I don't know, I guess I was maybe expecting some builds or the towers to be different or something, but I guess any other block than obsidian would get destroyed when the dragon flies around, so I guess it's not really possible to add anything there. That is complete, but we are not quite done yet, because today is not just about getting the obsidian, it's also about getting the infusement table. So let's go home and craft it up. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of a detour here or to our forward operating base. We don't have anything stored here, but what I can get is some more ender pearls and some more XP as well. Okay, didn't get that many levels, but I did get the extra ender pearls, which is what I wanted. Ow. Okay, that hurt. <laughs> I guess I need some flying lessons or something. And we're home. Whee! Perfect. That was a good. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna pat myself on the back. That was a good landing. Actually, some of my armor has mending, so that would explain why I didn't get that many levels. All right, folks. Mission successful, but we're not quite done yet. We need to make the infusement infu 
Infusion Pedestal. I can't. I have said it too many times now. So we need two Obsidian and we need two Enderpearls, but we also need an Eye of Ender. And to make an Eye of Ender, we need a lot of Amber and Aurora Crystals. I don't think I have an Eye of Ender anywhere. So what I'm gonna do here is we need this, this, and then we need that. I'm gonna store the rest, and then we need to make some crafting. So I need a lot of Amber and at least four of these Aurora Crystals, and I need four of these amber gems right here. These are expensive. All right, these are quite expensive. I had 38 before, now we're down to 22. But it's gonna be worth it. I believe this is the recipe for an eye of ender right there. Boom. And then we combine it like this to get the infusion pedestal. Now, I don't know how to use this. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't. I can't even right-click it. <laughs> I don't know if. Oh, oh, that's how you do it. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know how you do. I, I don't know how you use this. I'm pretty sure you need normal pedestals around it because if we take a look at the Unbreaking Book, for example, right? There's north, and then there's east, west, uh, north, south, east, and west. So, and I think these are other pedestals, and this is the main pedestal, so please tell me I can pick this back up. Okay. I thought I couldn't for a moment. Okay. So, guys, in the next episode, we need to make a infusion... Infu I'm just gonna give up. We're gonna make a pedestal room. <laughs> We're gonna have to make a pedestal room. I think this area maybe could be cool or maybe a separate room from the base But I think having it in the base could be pretty cool So I think in the next episode we will kind of revamp the house. I'm not happy with the design yet um, And yeah, ma make a new room. Maybe shine up this storage area as well Make a infusion pedestal room so we can start doing some infusion stuff But of course the infusion pedestal is not the only thing I can make I can also if I can figure out where I'm going. I can also, with this obsidian now, make, that's right, an enchantment table right here. Boom, boom, boom. An enchantment table. Now this will need a room as well. So I think in the next episode, we're gonna be doing some base expansions. I forgot to, mm, I forgot to bring brimestone. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Those two blocks right there, gotta... You know what, hold on. I don't have the fireworks to go back there, but... Actually, I got an even better idea. Huh? My bridge has been... Okay then. This is my solution. Right here. Yep. Some super glue and some duct tape. Some slime. Yeah, it fixes everything. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye. All right, fine, I'll get some stairs for that. See you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.